first time I've ever done one of these on my channel. So exciting stuff. Got some goodies back here. Can't wait to show you. Um, if you haven't watched my vlogs, actually, I don't know if it will be up before this one. I just got a job, like a real person job. So, I mean, like kind of like it's like an internship. So let's be let's be honest. I'm not graduated yet, yet, but I'm getting there. And I have an internship, and I'm making like okayish money. So for the first time in my life, I have somewhat of disposable income and I am not making it to the bare minimum zero dollars and zero cents in my bank account after I pay all my bills every month. So, I mean, like this month, since I did a little shopping, we might be there, but I have deprived myself from shopping for so many months, basically the full year. I felt like I was spoiling myself if I bought $15 of makeup a month. I have been so frugal it's ridiculous i do not buy coffee out i do not buy anything for myself except for food and gas like i don't shop stuff like that so hauls are very few and far between i've never had enough stuff to do a haul um but i did a little shopping after my very first day at my new job and i felt like i would needed to treat myself and the funny thing is i did treat myself but they were all things in one way or another i needed and this was a very unintentional haul because I was just trying to buy work clothes. That's honest to God all I was trying to do. Every store I went into and out of, I did not pick out one item of work-related things. I mean, I got a pair of shoes, but like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, nothing work-related. So that's kind of uh, beats the purpose. But anyways, I kind of had a list on my phone of like, okay, Fiona, when you have money, you need to buy new running shoes. When you have money, you need to buy a refill of your new brow pencil. I don't know. Stuff like that. So, it's going to be kind of cut and dry, some stuff exciting, some stuff not so exciting, but just keep on watching. Give this a like if you're interested. Please subscribe to my channel. When you like the videos, it does really help out my channel. Um, it gets more people to be able to find the video and see the video, so that really is helpful, but let's get into it. Also, grab a snack. I'm going to be snacking on sweet potato chips. They're a little stale, also a little crunchy. <laughs> Oh wow. First up. The first item. Or the first I'm like most excited about. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. These. See like this haul is also you're going to notice like the stuff's already been worn because I was so excited to like get these things that I've already worn them like a million times. These. Aren't they like called the Nike Roches Roches or whatever? Okay. Saving money tip. If you have a Gabriel Brothers or like any type of... A Gabriel Brothers is basically like a really ratchet TJ Maxx or a really ratchet Marshalls. And basically, they get in a lot of things that are defective or there's maybe like a tag sewn in backwards. And we'll go to Gabriel Brothers. So I buy a lot of my stuff from there. Got these shoes. Okay, I don't know how much Nikes normally cost, but these were like 49 bucks. Pretty sick. I'm obsessed with these. Except I do trip in them quite frequently. I think it's like the shape that they're like here and they go to a point. May have been why these babies were so cheap. I like you though. Keep you around. $49? That's not bad for new shoes. I have, these are my new work shoes. Um, so I can wear these to work. I'm lucky enough where I can wear tennis shoes to my work. Yes, hunty. So these are my go-tos. Go with everything. I can wear them to go work out i can wear them you know on so many different occasions so that's all i have to say about those go with everything second up i have a shoe problem okay so these again i think they were either 49 or 59 um but for nike um cross trainers not too shabby they're just gray with orange you can see that why am i explaining it to you okay so got these little tennis shoes obsessed with them um i'm using these as my running shoes i've had these same guys this is bad um that's another thing i don't know if you guys know about me i am a runner i run i just ran a half marathon um i used to run cross country in high school like so i love to run and i get a lot of wear on my running shoes when you run as much as i do or at least i've been in the past i've been kind of like on a wall lately but when you've been running a lot, like let's say 20, 30 miles a week, 
you should be replacing your shoes every like x amount of miles i can't remember how much it is my cross country coach will always say like every like six months depending on how much you're running if you're running even more than i run which people do that believe it or not like a lot of people do more than i do um you might even have to get your tennis shoes replaced every three months and guys i had the same running shoes for like three years four years and that's really bad like they were so bad my feet killed after my race I needed new ones. Don't judge me for buying two pairs of Nikes. They were a good deal, too. Okay. And now for my weakness, which is athletic wear. If athleisure, if athleisure in general just ever goes out of style, I'm going to die because I can't live without leggings. Like, I, I know that sounds so basic, but, like, I, I can't. Like, it's all I ever wear to the gym in real life. Like, okay, first up. Actually, these were from Gabe's as well. $7.99. $7.99 for a pair of leggings. And they're thick enough where, like, you know, they don't feel cheap. Little mesh cutouts. Super cute. All I have to say about those. Adorable. Next up. Also from Gabe's. I think these were, like, 10 7 or 10 Super nice. Fun little pattern. Like that gray. Very simple. Very chic. And, ooh, I love this, guys. High neck little sports bra. Um, if you guys have tips and tricks about how to style these to the gym, let me know. I don't feel quite confident enough. Like, I see, you see people on YouTube, like the workout people, and they'll go to the gym or wherever, like, just in a, in a little, like, you know, little sports bra. But, I mean, I always feel really uncomfortable doing that. And I always feel like people are like staring at you. I don't know. I don't I don't like it. Like I've never I've never had the courage really to just go in a sports bra, but it looks so cute. Just like this and like high-waisted little little leggings, but I never wear it that way just because I think it looks like I don't know. I don't feel comfortable. It looks cute, but I just don't feel comfortable in it just yet. No, my body's not like there yet. Not not toned enough. Um then these, I'm so pumped about these. I love little compression shorts, not necessarily the Nike Pros, because I feel like their sizing is so strange on the Nike Pros, like a small, like I'm typically like a smaller medium in like shorts or pants or whatever they may be, and like they don't fit right, and like, I don't know, they just feel like I'm squeezing 10 pounds of bologna in like 5 pound bag, and it's very unpleasant. So, these are so cute, they're like little yoga, stretchy little shorts, um, these were like $12.99. Um, not too bad. It's from Scorpio Soul. And, yeah, I got this little pair. I got these, the same exact kind, but in this, like, tie-dye blue. I thought these would be so cute for, like, because it's just been so hot during the summer, and I really didn't have any running shorts. So, again, a lot of these things were things I needed. I can validate my shopping, okay? I can validate my problems. Oh, my God, this is my favorite, guys. This... Get this. Okay, I found this at TJ Maxx. Workout top. It almost looks like a going out top, does it not? Little mesh front. Little kind of like stitched sides. Betsy Johnson. Originally, this was 42 bucks. I got it at TJ Maxx for $16.99. Super bomb. Super cute. Super athleisure. I love it. And the last little random thing from TJ Maxx is pink Himalayan sea salt. Now, I'm not going to lie. People have told me, like even after I purchased this, that this is good for balancing your ions. But I'm not quite sure that. I just liked it because it was pink and I like salt. Thank you for watching. Um, also, if you have questions or comments on, like, this makeup, if you care, um, I have another video that's gonna go up probably before, and you can click on that and see all the details, so. Okay, see you in my next one. Thank you so much. Give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take a look at this. It's a freaking grout fit. Even the socks that don't match. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it!